Jessie is a super fun Disney Channel show about a small town girl who moves to the big city to follow her dreams. She ends up working as a nanny for a super rich family on the Upper West Side and has tons of adventures running around the big city. But just because this is a heartwarming Disney show about a nanny, it still has tons of dirty jokes. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham and these are the dirtiest dirty jokes in Jessie. Jessie's trying to spend a relaxing day in Central Park with her guitar, but of course the kids can't leave her alone. When Luke walks up and snatches the tips out of her open guitar case, she asks him what's going on, and this happens. Where did you come from? Oh, my parents did the store brought me, but the seventh graders have a more interesting theory. <laughs> Dude, why is it that the seventh graders always teach you about the birds and the bees long before your health teacher drags that ancient projector out of the basement of the school auditorium and sets up a slideshow about the miracle of your first erection? Although, I gotta say, as a person who got all of her sex education from a fellow seventh grader back in the day, it isn't the worst way to learn. Number four. When Emma finds out that Luke is her new photography partner, she's super annoyed that he's choosing to selectively participate in their assignment, leaving her with all the work. But it's the thing he says next that makes me think we got a little pervert on our hands. I can get school credit for taking pictures of cute girls. The assignment is to take pictures of New York's flora and fauna. Ooh, I hope those are hot Latin twins. Dude, if you're gonna go into photography, aim for Patrick DeMarchelier. Don't settle for Terry Richardson. Do you have an off switch? Yep. You wanna try and find it? Also, please don't ever invite your babysitter to search your body for your off switch. That's a one-way ticket to Sing Sing, and heads up, Jesse, that's a prison, not a karaoke bar. Texas transplants in New York, am I right? <laughs> Number three. Because Robbie has such a unique animal for a pet, it can be hard to find Mr. Kipling the right kind of snack. Robbie asks Bertram to order something special for Mr. Kipling to chow down on, and that's when this conversation happens. Do you have any frog legs? He does not like the legs. How about frog breasts? <laughs> um, that's my business. Why didn't you just say that the frog breasts were for a lizard? You can never set foot in that grocery store again. You made it weird, dude, not me. Number two. This opens up with a real banger, literally. Jessie's making a video for her best friend Darla back home in Texas so that she can see how her new life is going in the Big Apple. Apparently, she's doing this because Darla sent her a little catch-up vlog too. Thank you so much for sending me that video of you cruising around Europe with your rich new boyfriend. <laughs> if you consider a guy in his 60s new. Assuming that Darla is 18 or 19 like Jessie, there's a 40-year age gap between her and her new rich boo. I think we're just calling them daddies now, right? It's 2018, you don't have a sugar daddy, how are you even paying your bills? Number one, when Zuri tries to distract Jessie with a bedtime story so she won't go on a date with the wrong guy, Zuri's imaginary friend Millie the Mermaid pops up in the story in an unexpected way. Wait, 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 what's Millie the Mermaid doing at the joust? Working her tail off for a few extra sand dollars. Don't judge her. You know what they say. Prostitution is the world's oldest profession. If a mermaid has to hustle and grind to take care of herself, that's not for us to judge. You do you. These are just some of the dirtiest dirty jokes in Jesse, so I want to know which ones are your favorites in the comments. Who knows? Maybe we'll do a part two someday. Like and subscribe to Obsev, and I'll be back next week to ruin your childhood for you.